hi guys so this is the unboxing of the Vicky 5 port HDMI switch so basically what this is is an HDMI switch that lets you plug five devices into it and sends the picture through one HDMI out port to your display or your TV or your projector so let's have a look so this is the 5 port switch the model number is the MTSW501MH uh, just a little bit of specs on it over here it comes with a infrared remote so you can switch between the different inputs uh, Super HD 4K supports DVI 25 megahertz 265 megahertz and it says keeps your HDMI video the best resolution so this is the five port switch and you can plug in your PC your gaming console to cameras blu-rays anything that you want all going out to your monitor Okay, so let's have a look what comes in the box. In the box, we have the unit. There is a user manual. We look at the box just now. Uh, also in the box. Okay, so we have a remote control with the five different inputs that you can select when you're using it it does come with a battery as you can see pull that tab out and the battery will be in there it comes with a usb power plug was not expecting that so Okay, so that's what you get in the box. You got the power plug, the remote, user manual. Let's have a look at the device itself. So this is the device. Small device. Uh, paint work on this device isn't so good as you can see. It looks like there's moisture but there really isn't. Okay, so on the front of the device, you have your infrared and your LEDs showing your five different inputs. You have a manual selection button to switch between your different inputs and a DC 5 volt power in jack, which is probably why it has USB plugged to it in the box. So you could probably just connect this directly to probably your TV that supplies 5 volts or a USB Android box that supplies 5 volts and this device would power up. Nothing on the sides. On the back you have your 5 HDMI inputs and your 1 HDMI out. So the reason I have this is because I am going to be using this for let's get this in focus. Okay, so I'm going to be using this for my PlayStation, my Android TV box, as well as my um, decoder, which for some of you guys you probably call cable. I currently have one that I use for those three devices. It's a manual switch, so there's no remote. So every time you gotta get up, go to it, press a button, and then it changes. With this, there's a remote, and it gives me the option of having two extra devices to be connected so that I can watch what I want to without 
getting it so what would you use this for a lot of TVs have maybe just one HDMI port some have two but a lot of your devices are having more than one HDMI cable that you need to use to get picture onto something and this would work perfectly so I'm going to be testing this out very soon and let's see how well this works okay so as I mentioned I have a item similar to this and like I said it's a manual switching box I've had it for some time now it works pretty well it's just that getting up all the time becomes annoying when you want to switch between your devices so how this worked is the little button here you press it and it would switch to your different device that you want to view so I'm going to be using this for my cable, my Android box, and my PS3. I'm going to connect this up quick and then check what kind of video quality we're getting through this box. Okay, so I've connected the box. Uh, you can see there's a red light on at the moment. Let me just focus here. As you can see, I do not have the power plug-in, the DC 5 volt, but the unit is working. And it seems to be powered by the HDMI cables that I put in. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be using this box for my PS3, my Android TV box, as well as my cable. This is the manual switching button to change between your different devices. As you can see, they are switching fine. All the lights come on as I press the button and there is no power supply connected. It's getting power from the HDMI inputs. So let's have a look at this. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using this for my cable. And I am going to, that's on number one. And this is number two. As you can see, there is a slight delay in the switching. This is my PS3. And this is my Android TV box. So all working pretty well with the remote. You can press either one, two, three, four, five, or you could just press left to get to cycle through your different menu items picture quality looks kind of good no issues the same as if it was connected directly to the box There you go not too expensive this little thing costed me around 250 rand which is somewhere around 13 to 15 dollars at today's exchange rate approximately so a nice little gadget easy one input to your TV and you can attach five different boxes to the thing thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe
leave me your feedback.